we want to solve the following one-step linear equations. And we've solved equations similar to this using whole numbers, but now we'll be solving these equations using integers. So looking at our first example, we have negative 6x equals 36. And the goal of any linear equation is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. So we want to manipulate this equation so that it's in the form of x equals some number on the right side. So we need to recognize that negative 6x means negative 6 times x. So we want to undo this multiplication in order to isolate the variable. Well, the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So in this example, we'll have to divide both sides by negative 6. It would be incorrect to add 6 to both sides because, because this negative 6 is attached to the variable by multiplication, not by subtraction. So now we have negative 6 divided by negative 6, which simplifies to 1, and 1 times x would be x. And on the right side, we have positive 36 divided by negative 6, which is equal to negative 6. So our solution is x equals negative 6. So for the second example, we have negative x divided by 3 equals negative 8. Now the first thing we should do is deal with this negative. Instead of leaving it out front, we could include it in the numerator or denominator, but not both. So to solve this equation, I think it'll be helpful to write this as x divided by negative 3 equals negative 8. And now we want to manipulate this equation so it's in the form of x equals some number. So looking at the left side, we want to undo this division by negative 3 by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. Well, the opposite of dividing by negative 3 would be to multiply by negative 3. So we can multiply the left side by negative 3 as long as we do the same to the right side. So multiplying by negative 3 and then dividing by negative 3 would simplify to 1. So we're left with x on the left side. And on the right side, we have negative 3 times negative 8. Well, a negative times a negative would be positive, so x equals positive 24. So x equals 24 is our solution.